So for this first mini project, it's just a lot of work with um, moving elements on your page, rotating elements, and making sure you're on the correct layer. So as you can see, we have a jumbled up photo. It's supposed to look like this when it's done. And you have to kind of unscramble it using different layers, moving around blocks, rotating shapes. So the most useful tool, and you'll use this all the time in Photoshop, is going to be your move tool. This allows you to click on objects on layers and rotate them. Another key thing is to make sure this button's check mark, show transform controls. This puts a little boundary box along any object that you select. So right now I have a blank layer on the bottom. Um, however, there are, if I click on these layers, boundary boxes that will show up around each shape, which will allow me to move or rotate them. So for instance, if I know that this shape needs to get moved down here, first of all, I got to figure out where it is on here. And as you can see, if you look at the layers, it'll kind of show you where they are visually. You can change the size of that too if you want to see a bigger version. This will show you where your square is on your document, roughly. Okay. Um, and so the whole point of this project is to unscramble the puzzle. So for instance, I want to start down here. I can tell that's the top of the Sears Tower, so I'm going to rotate this. If you move your mouse just outside your shape, you'll notice it turns into a little rotate icon where you can rotate it 90 degrees. It's probably going to be going up here somewhere, so I'll put it up here for now. Maybe I'll take one of those top ones. Now, whenever you rotate, you have to apply it. So when you rotate something and you want to set it, you have to hit return on your keyboard before you can go and click and move and do something else. So I'll move this one down here. Maybe that needs to get rotated apply it, hit enter. And just kinda what you want to do is just try to find the right location for all these and get them into the right spot. Another cool feature is this auto select button. So this one instead of you trying to find each layer you can click and hopefully it'll figure out which element you're trying to click on. So that's the first one, the puzzle. Go ahead and solve it. Like I said, should look like this when you're all done.